I started kind of talking about this in another video I was recording and then it went on for like five minutes and I was like, this is something that I should probably make a separate video about instead of going on like a five minute sidetracked conversation <laughs> about nothing to do with the video itself. Welcome back to another Mermaid Monday where we talk about everything mermaid. Recently, I was just kind of scrolling through my Facebook, you know, doing the thing that we do. And I came across somebody who posted in a group that I am in that asked, why did you start YouTube? And it really got me thinking, like, way back when. Like, not even when I first started making mermaid videos, but like, when I first joined YouTube and I first started uploading videos. After I started pondering about why you first started, back then I was probably like eight years old, probably not even, and I was like making these dumb little videos of me skateboarding around the house because we had hardwood floors, me sliding on my belly through the house, you know, just different things like that with a little camcorder that, or that my parents have gift, gifted me because I just, I've always loved cameras. My parents, whenever we'd go anywhere, or my aunts and uncles, whenever we'd have any kind of family function, or if we'd go to like Disney World or something, they gave me the camera, because I was snapping pictures everywhere. I'm honestly really surprised I didn't go into photography sooner than I did like now. Like, <laughs> I did want to do yearbook in high school, and I never got in the class because it just didn't work with my schedule every single year. So I guess that was me trying, but not really. <laughs> so I've always kind of loved cameras. So they also got me a camcorder. Um, I believe it was a hand-me-down from either my sister or somebody else in the family, not really sure. But I got this little thing, actually I still have it. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the first one or the second one that I had, um, but it's basically, you know, a camcorder flip so you can like vlog and stuff. Um, I believe the first one, I believe this is the second one. So the first one had tapes, like little, little tape recorders, like mini, v, like mini VHS tapes, like little camcorder tapes. Um, this one does not, this one is all digital. So this one came later. But anyways, that's one of my first cameras. So I would take this camera, I would perform in front of it. I remember the TV shows at the time when I was I guess inspired to start making videos. The popular ones on Disney Channel was when iCarly first came out. There was Hannah Montana. Those are the videos that I consumed when I was that age. And I mean, it makes a lot of sense, you know. Um, they had a lot of fun making their videos on this pretend show. So I started my own little thing. Instead of having it like on a website though, I went to YouTube. And I started making videos and posting it with my friends and <laughs> some of those videos were quite embarrassing. Some of those videos could have won like straight up world's funniest home videos. Like we were gonna send in a tape of my neighbor riding a four wheeler straight into a trampoline. He flung off, landed directly onto the tramp trampoline. Um, he was perfectly fine. Maybe had a couple of bruises, but he like flew and it was all on tape. But then, because I really enjoyed making videos, didn't realize that that tape was used and taped over that tape. <laughs> so we lost that really funny one. Um, I don't, I think my parents may still have some of the tape somewhere, but I'm not sure. It was just a lot of fun. So I had fun making the videos and then I posted them online, you know, just to have fun. And then as I grew older, I realized that I was not very social. I would stay in my room all the time. I would like scroll through like Facebook, Tumblr. Um, this is before Instagram and when Twitter was very new. Um, it was, this was like right at the time where very few people were still on MySpace and everybody was making the jump to Facebook. So that's the era that I'm talking about. So I would stay in my room and I would scroll through and I would watch the videos on YouTube and I, I would be all into these different kinds of videos and genres and like social networking. And I just, I really liked social networking. 
I wasn't very social in school. I wasn't very social, you know, elsewhere until I was with people that I enjoyed being around. And I think that was one of the key things that I really love about the internet and social media is that you can connect with people who are like-minded. It was very hard for me to find a whole lot of people who were like-minded as me. Like that I did have a good group of friends throughout high school and middle school, luckily, but but then you would compare me who had like maybe a small group of friends to other people who was friends with like the entire school. And I mean, that may have been fake, I don't know. But it seemed really odd and I was like, why don't I have that? So I, you know, I go on social media, I made a bunch of friends online. I'm still making friends online. <laughs> it's like people used to tell you not to talk to people on the internet because it's not what you, they seem. And although that is very true, you should take precautionary measures. I have met some of the greatest people online. I have met my best friends online. I have met so many wonderful, amazing people that I have gotten to collaborate with, that I have gotten to become good friends with, that I talk to every day. It's just so amazing how the internet connects us together. And that's the second aspect that I love about YouTube is the connection that you can make. You know, I remember watching my favorite YouTubers and being like, wow, I wish I could like meet them, you know, or like seeing them and be like, I really like their stuff. This is great. I enjoy commenting. I enjoy liking. I enjoy sharing the video. I enjoy watching the video. And I love the community itself that's there. I don't really consider myself a part of the YouTube community um, just because I am a small channel and maybe if I get bigger and I collaborate with more other like YouTubers, it'll be different. Um, so some collaborations I have done on YouTube is with other mermaids on YouTube. <laughs> so I mean, yes, I've done collaborations and I'm very grateful for them. Very grateful to have the opportunity to meet them and hang out with them and collaborate with them. But it's still not like the YouTube itself. Um, I'm definitely more of a mermaid community person. That's the community that I chose to be in. That's what I choose to stay in. That's what I am helping new people into the community with. I just, I enjoy the connections that I can make and the friendships that I've made. I love the interaction, the engagement, like everything about it, I really enjoy. So thinking about like going all the way back to where I first started making videos, like I don't remember a time where I didn't want to make videos. Like I have gone on hiatuses before. I have taken breaks, I've paused, you know, I've skipped weeks, I've took a year off, you know, but I always come back to it. And it's something that I do enjoy to do and I would love to have like a long-term career in, not necessarily film production, but like social media. Like I know it's kind of a taboo thing to be like, oh, I wanna be a social media influencer. But it's like, I don't wanna be just that. I wanna be a YouTuber. I wanna be an Instagrammer. I wanna be like that person that people go to within the mermaid community, you know, to ask for advice. I wanna be that person and I wanna help other people get to where they wanna be. Because I also remember when I first started at anything, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. There was hardly any kind of things out there. It was just, it was difficult, but I'm really glad to be where I am today and I'm very thankful of where I am today. And I just wanted to open up and share that with you guys because I don't really talk about personal stuff that much. But I'm a mermaid, so this is technically a mermaid thing. Um, we are out of time because my battery is dying again. So that is all for this video today. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification. Um, go ahead and follow me on all my other social media links and reach out however you feel needed. Um, tell me what your dreams are and how, like, are you living them yet? Are you working towards it? Let me know in the comments. This has been one fun Mermaid Monday. I will see you guys in the next video. Mermaid kisses and starfish wishes.